Hi everyone, I'm going to give you a quick rundown of what it takes to put together a dev environment for testing and validating websites. Um, right now we're running on a, on a Macintosh computer. Um, this is a MacBook Pro with about 4 gig of RAM. Um, I would probably suggest that you know if you're going to try to replicate this environment that you'd probably want to go up to um, 8 gig of RAM. But what I wanted to show you was our, our load set and what we have going on in here. Right now, we're using VMware Fusion 3 on our Mac, and that's going to allow us to run all sorts of different um, operating systems in one computer. So we'll be able to run uh, Windows 7 and Windows XP. You pretty much can run any operating system on a Mac along with the Mac operating system. So this makes an ideal um, development platform. So the first thing that uh, we would do is, is we would load up a website. In this case here, I'm on Firefox, and I'm showing ID Engine's website. And you can see this is how uh, we intended ID Engine's website to appear on a uh, browser, and, and this being the, the Mac uh, Firefox browser. I can open this up on Safari as well. So here's Safari, um, and it appears to be identical to uh, the the Firefox Mac version. Um, once I've gotten through both of those, I can also uh, check out how, how things are going to look on the iPhone. And um, I can do this by just simply using um, the iPhone emulate the simulator, which is built into Xcode. Xcode is uh, the development platform for a Mac. So I can look at my iPhone in the simulator, and I can also go in here and, and quickly switch devices to be the iPad. And this will switch the hardware over to the iPad. Um, it takes a few seconds for that to load up. But while that's loading, um, I can also test on the Android operating system. And this is the um, ID Engine's website on the Android OS. And you can see, once again, that it, it does have the... Um, same look and feel. Um, obviously, I'm not going to go into detail with you guys on, on how these things look, but um, just to give you an idea that we're testing all of this on one computer, which is kind of uh, you know the the point that I wanted to make was everything that we're doing is is on one single computer. So this makes it very efficient for a web developer to be able to test all platforms on one machine. Um, here's the iPad. I'm kind of showing you that. Um, and then um, it, you know I can also turn the iPad on its side and view the website on the side as well. Um, if I wanted to, I could even switch on over to the iPhone 4, and it would bring um, the simulator over to iPhone 4. Same thing with Android. Android, you can um, you can load up different virtual machines, so I can load up every instance of an Android operating system into here as well and test that as well. So we're definitely able to test all of the uh, mobile platforms. And then here's the beautiful thing about um, the Mac operating system. I can easily switch on over to um, Windows 7, which is what I got running right here. And I can test uh, the ID Engine website on Windows 7 to make sure that everything functions as it should. Um, and as you can see, it, you know, it, it does function just as it, as it has on other machines. Um, we have Windows Phone 7, which I'm happy to announce was just released today. And this is the simulator for Windows Phone 7. Once again, you can see that everything is rendering out just as it should on Windows Phone 7. Um, I'm not too happy with the simulator just yet, but you know, this just being released, I'm assuming things will speed up a little bit for uh, us Mac developers. And then finally, um, we we're also able to test our um, our environment on uh, Windows XP as well, all from the same computer. Um, and here you can see that I have um, I have Windows 7, I'm sorry, uh, Windows XP with uh, Internet Explorer 7 and also um, XP with um, Internet Explorer 6. So how are we able to achieve that? We have a, an application called Multiple IE which is, allows us to load um, Internet Explorer 7, 6, 5, four, and believe it or not, three. Um, so we can test Internet Explorer uh, way back into different versions and make sure that the website renders perfectly. This is Internet Explorer 6, and once again, I'm getting that same consistency that I've gotten on all of the other browsers, whether it be mobile or 
uh, desktop platforms, um, you're able to see that we can, can really test for all platforms. Um, once again, Windows 7 operating system, Windows Mobile 7 operating system, Windows XP with Internet Explorer 7 and 6, and um, all Mac platforms, including um, the iPhone, um, the Android, and, um, and Chrome, Safari, and Firefox. Hopefully you enjoyed this uh, demonstration, and uh, we'll catch you guys next time. Thanks.